so continuing with relative frequency. Um, so for question one, it's very straightforward. Uh, work out the relative frequencies as decimals for each one of these. What's the probability of landing on a one? 25 out of 100, Brendan. Right, that's straightforward. And 25 out of 100 is 0 0.25. What's the probability of landing on a two? Well, um, 19 out of 100, 0 0.19, etc. So you do all those as decimals, four little sums. And then it says write down the theoretical probability as a decimal of getting these numbers if it's a fair spinner and the theory works perfectly. So what's the probability of throwing a four, for example? What do you expect? That question goes to anyone at all out there. Okay, let's go for the brightest kid I've got. Tyan, tell us, what's the probability of landing on any one of these numbers if the spinner is completely fair? Yeah, any one of those numbers. I rather call it um, I, I rather call it one over four because there's four numbers. Any one of them can come up out of a total of four. So one over four, which is 0.25 or 25 percent. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Um, so then you've got to make a decision as to whether they think this spinner is actually biased or not. And question two is about an eight-sided dice. Okay. And they're spinning it 160 times. It's quite boring, it's quite quick. The two comes up 36 times, just as a fact. And uh, how many times would you expect the two to come up with 160 rolls if the dice was completely fair? You know, these have to work that out. How do you get 20? He said, okay, so you divide 160 by 8. Not 8 by 160, all right? So it's 160, yes. over, so 160 over 8 is 20 times. You'd expect 22s to come up uh, if the fair, if the if the spinner, if the dice rather is completely fair. And uh, we've got 36 times have come up. So do you think the dice is fair or biased? Anyone got an opinion? Because that's fine, that's a good answer. Yeah, far too many twos have come up. You normally expect um, 20 twos to come up. So, how do we plan to improve on this experiment then? Any ideas? Sorry, or With how many trials? No, no, no. The, we're testing to see if that dice is biased or not. The experiment is about that particular dice that we just bought. Yeah. You don't know if the other one, the other dice you're comparing it with is fair or biased. You don't know. I just want to know about this dice in my hand, whether it's acceptable or not. Basically, the answer is always going to be at GCSE, always conduct more trials. So when he said the ex repeat the experiment, that implies to me, do it another 160 times. Whereas I'd say maybe do it 500 times and recalculate. So it's, the answer will always be for part C. In, any, in this particular um, context of experiment probability, the more trials that you conduct, the more reliable the result. Yeah, because you're just doing it more times, and so that the fractions are less open to um, a random fluke. If it's biased, it will come up very much more clearly than from that. So the answer is always going to be um, conduct the experiment more times or do the do more trials, e.g., maybe 300, maybe 500 rolls, something like that. And um, 